Hi you guys, today we are opening the newest MGA Miniverse Make It Mini Food. This is the Diner Series number two. All right you guys, let's see which one we got. So we first up, we have our stand, our table. So we're gonna put this together. It's easy, one, two, three, and then we have our pouches. So we're gonna look in a collector's guide first. This is a huge collector's guide, you guys. It is so long. So we have some shaded ones, and I guess this will be in the next series, series three, if I'm not mistaken. We have tiramisu, birthday cake, fruit tart, tarlets, strawberry shortcake, a pineapple upside down cake, a lemon bundt cake, cookies and cream pie, ramen, strawberry sundae, ravioli, a veggie pizza, a banana split, and then on the back, this is just showing you guys how to put it together. So it's super, super cool. Let's open our first package. We're going to open this one. It looks like it's open a little. Let's open it. And we have a cake, like a cake stand or a tart stand. Let's see what this one is. It's made fresh. Okay, I think I know what this one is. We have our party cake. So it looks like we have the birthday cake one. Let's do this one. Keep cool, keep cool, keep cool. It looks like, oop, we have some glaze. All right, looks like we have a placemat. And here we have, so we have a yay sign for our birthday cake. What else do we have? I think we have one more bag or two more. We have our icing rings. Okay, what else? And this must be our utensils. We have some tongs. We also have a cake spatula. And we have our topper for our top over here. Let's put that in like that. So let's get to me. As always, there are instructions. All right, you guys, so we are making the birthday cake one. It does look a little hard to make, but we are going to um, go by the instructions. So we're going to get our cake stand. We're going to place our mat on top. I think this one is a little lopsided, it looks like, but we're going to work with it. And then we're going to take our cake out of our package. Grab. All right. That is our birthday cake. It is a two layer cake. I'm gonna set that there. Our next step is to put on some of the glaze on the bottom. So let's open our glaze. All right, you guys, we got our glaze tape off. Looks like we have some pink icing. We're going to put on our oozer. I like to call it an oozer. And put that on. And now we are going to just put some drizzles on the bottom of this cake. Hopefully it comes out easy. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna make it look like my hand shaking because it's so hard to come out. It's um, dribbling on the side of the cake. you guys so this right here is how our cake is looking so far you guys tell me if it looks a little lopsided I think the cake stand is lopsided so the next step is we're going to put on our icing ring as our next step okay so we have two icing rings we have a smaller and a larger so for the larger one, we're going to place it down like so. And then we're going to finish the glaze on the top and then put that one on top. place our smaller ring around and let's get our yay sign over here so before I put on the resin it did look like there were holes to put this in so it fits perfect guys look at our birthday cake it is so 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 cute now we are going to cure it in our oven so let's do that now. all right guys let us carefully because i like knocking stuff over open our oven so i just took this out we're just gonna place it in there like that and we're gonna close this and cure it we'll be back in five minutes all right you guys our cake has finished our uv light turned off so let's grab our cake i don't know if i could grab it with these hopefully it doesn't fall let's see And you guys, look at our birthday cake. It is so pretty. How do you guys think we did? It looks delicious. All right, you guys, we are on to our last bowl. Let's see which recipe we get in this one. All right, you guys, let's get into our second mini-verse. Hopefully it's not the same. So let's open this one first. And it looks like we have some Sunny Bites Waffle. Ooh, it's a waffle bowl. Ooh, exciting. Let's see what's in this bag. You guys, we have some strawberry ice cream. Oh my goodness. We always know that our utensils are in this bag. So let's see what they gave us. Our topper for our dome piece. We have some tongs. We have a spoon. In this bag, we have, ooh, we have some wafer straws. Guys, look at those, they look so, delicious let's see what we have in this one we have some berry syrup 
And in our last one, we have some strawberries. So it looks like we're making a strawberry ice cream. I'm excited. All right, guys, so in this recipe, we are making a strawberry sundae. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so let's get our waffle bowl. By the picture, it looks like it's, it looks really real. So let's see. Oh my goodness. You guys, this looks just like an, a waffle bowl. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so we got our waffle bowl and we're going to get our ice cream next. Oh my goodness, you guys. We got four scoops of strawberry ice cream. Okay, so let's get those out. These are the cutest. I'm gonna put that one down get another one. Hopefully all of these could fit. I don't think they would give ice cream like four that can't fit. In there. Then our last one. Put it right there. You guys, that looks delicious already. Look how delicious this looks. Already, it looks delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this one in a little like that. Looks good, right? Let's see if this one can move in a little. Looks good. All right, that looks good. All right, so now we are going to put our berry syrup on. So let's open it. Guys, comment down below if this looks like it has a flippy top, but it won't open. So we're just gonna screw it off. That is super cute though. And we're going to drizzle, that came out really fast, over our ice cream. I have a little toothpick over here. And I'm just gonna help me spread it. So it doesn't look too like clumpy. Oh, this is coming out really fast, you guys. And then we're also going to squeeze some in the side so we can get to the bottom pieces. Like that. Ooh, it's a lot. <laughs> so this one definitely has a lot of syrup in it. So, so far, we have something that looks like this. Does that look good? That looks so good. I like how the strawberry syrup is coming out the pole a little. Because we all know that ice cream is so messy. Alright, so we're going to take some of our strawberries and put them around our ice cream, on top of our ice cream sundae. Take our 
wafers and also add them. All right, so here are our wafers. They gave us four. So we are going to put this one in here. This looks so good. And we'll add another one over here. You guys, does that not look really good? I think we should add a little bit more resin just to make sure it holds everything in place. If there's any more in here, because we did put up a lot on top already let's see yep we got a little bit more the finished product it looks so delicious this is our strawberry sundae would you guys eat this comment down below all right you guys we made two recipes comment down below which one's your favorite make sure you guys like comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next video